Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Promise and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, what I'm bring you guys today is a manga review for Helsing by Kota Hirano. Helsing is a 10 volume series put out by Dark Horse, so needless to say, some of these volumes in this series are very hard to find. And as you guys know, I'm a fanatic for hard to find manga, but this series and I actually have a little bit more history than just that. So this is a series that I started reading actually in middle school and it's one of the first series that I ever got into. Back when I was in seventh grade, I think I actually did a book report on Helsing or at least like the first four or five volumes. So that was definitely pretty interesting for the teacher. So while everyone else was reading novels during designated reading time, I was over on my tablet on the floor reading Helsing or Ultimo on Manga Rock. It was accepted back then. Uh, we didn't know all the scary tactics. So don't go too hard on me in the comments. Yeah, Helsing is a series that I really enjoyed back in middle school and never really got around to completing. I think I only read the first four or five volumes. So some of this was familiar and some of it was not. But late last year, I actually got around to picking up the complete set in these singles and I was just really thrilled to finally have this. One of my favorite series from middle school. And I just recently got around to actually reading. You know, I have a lot of stuff to read. But I finally said, you know what? I'm just gonna read this series. It should be a quick, easy read, something fun. So yeah, that's what I did. And now I'm gonna be giving you my manga review for the series. So if you guys do enjoy this manga review, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. And yeah, let's get right into it. So in the world of Helsing, we have the Helsing Organization. Helsing is an organization based in Great Britain. And what they do is basically, whenever there's an outbreak with ghouls or vampires, they send in their forces to go wipe out the threat and just basically eliminate all the vampires in the area. The organization is run by Sir Integra and she's a very wealthy woman who inherited the organization from her family and she's been running it for a while. And she's also in control of the world's most powerful vampire, Alucard. Now to say Alucard is just an absolute badass is a complete understatement. I mean, in all of manga, this is probably one of the most over the top and just completely insanely badass characters you'll find in any series. So basically the story starts off with Helsing being called in to start an incident where a priest is a vampire and he's turning everybody in his town into ghouls. So Helsing gets called in to take care of the situation and when Alucard gets there, the priest has taken out all the police force that was sent in and he has a police girl named Saris held hostage. So before he does anything, Alucard asks the police girl, are you a virgin? And she says yes. So in this manga, basically how it works is if you're a virgin and you get bit by a vampire, you turn into a vampire, but if you're not a virgin, you get turned into a ghoul. And these ghouls are controlled by the main vampire, so they just kind of do their bidding. So once Alucard hears that the police girl is a virgin, he shoots her through the lung, I believe, puncturing the priest's heart, killing him. And when Saris is about to die, he says, do you want to live? And she chooses life, so he bites her. And Alucard turns this police girl, Saris, into a vampire. So Helsing has a couple conflicts in this manga. First, they're against the Vatican. They don't obviously match political and religious ideals. So there's some conflicts that happen between the two entities. And basically the Vatican also has a trump card similar to Alucard named Father Anderson. He's just this really big priest who wields bayonets and he has like these seals that can control people from leaving a certain area. This is a really a badass character and a rival for Alucard throughout the story. But the more overarching conflict is with this resurgence of the Nazi party. Basically there's this lieutenant who survived the original run of the Nazis and he decides to revive the party and take over the world. Basically he says he wants a war that looks like what war would look like in hell. And the crazy thing about this is that the Nazis are actually using ghouls as soldiers. So they have almost seemingly infinite immortal soldiers who can't be killed by, you know, regular soldiers. And it's basically this all out battle to save humanity. So that's a basic plot synopsis of the manga. Now I'm gonna get into things that I really like about this manga. Now the first thing that's amazing about this manga is the action. Now, going into the series, don't expect any, you know, deep story. If you're reading Helsing, it's for the fights, it's for the gore, it's for the action. And when there is action, which there is a lot, it's done extraordinarily well. If you're not okay with over the top violence, gore, you know, body parts flying all over blood, just popping out people's chests, probably stay away from this one. As you would expect from a story about a vampire who wields these two big guns, you know, there's gonna be a lot of gore and blood and all that good stuff in the series. And though there's a lot of blood and body parts spraying all around, the action is very easy to follow and it just kind of flows seamlessly as you're reading. It's very easy to just turn your mind off and just fully understand what is going on in the scene. The second thing that I really enjoyed about this is just the badass characters, you know. There's not gonna be a series like this where every single character is just completely over the top. You know, we have Alucard who has the big guns, he's blasting zombies, getting shot in the face, you know, just regenerating and just going ham on everybody. And then we have Saris, the police girl, who they give like these sniper fuse with a rocket launcher, basically. It's shooting out these like huge rounds at helicopters, you know, just gunning everybody down. It's absolutely sick. And then you have the butler, Walter. You know, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. He has these like wire things that he controls from his gloves and he's like just swinging him around, cutting everybody up. It's really, really cool. Also, I forgot to mention that since Alucard is just such a badass vampire, he has like multiple forms. So there's one where he like turns into this dog with like a thousand eyes and just tears someone apart. 
super, super cool. And then, like I mentioned before, you have Father Anderson, who is like basically the only person who can stand up to Alucard in the entire series. And he's just chucking bayonets left and right at people. Every single character in this manga is just completely over the top, and I'm all here for it. And then the third thing that I really like about this manga is the artwork. There's a unique character design that the manga uses with the characters, and it kind of changes from the beginning to the end of the manga where I think I like it more at the end, but all throughout they're really interesting and unique. I'll put up some pictures of what I mean, like a picture of Alucard from the very beginning and then the end, obviously. It does change, but throughout there's this amazing shading, you know, the character design as well is very cool. And really all around, in every aspect, this manga is just a joy to look at. So now that we've talked about how amazing this manga looks, we're gonna talk about the story, which kind of ties into the things I don't really think are too great about Helsing. So when it comes to the story in Helsing, in my opinion personally, I think most people who read this series, you know, it's really not all there. Yes, you have the basic overarching plot of, you know, vampires versus Nazi vampires, basically, and yes, while it does work, it just feels like a lot is missing from the story. Whenever there are several pages just talking about, you know, the background and the plot, what's going on, I kind of got bored and it felt like a drag to read at times. And if the story was really good, I wouldn't have felt like that, but just the fact that it's so lacking, you know, I was just itching for the next fight scene to come my way, just flipping through, waiting for it. And, you know, sometimes it just felt like when they were explaining things, it got a little bit tiresome. And another thing is that they constantly reference the past and Alucard is just like, you know, this basically immortal vampire. So he's been around for a while. He's been killing Nazis and vampires for a little bit. And there seems to be all this lore and background information about, you know, Alucard. Oh, he's seen this and he's killed this guy before. They fought hundreds of years ago and they tell you that, but they don't really show you that. There's no flashbacks really that have any substance to the background of the story. It's basically like, oh yeah, Alucard fought this guy back 200 years ago and you just kind of have to take their word for it and feel something even though there's nothing really to base those emotions off of. Other than, oh, he's a Nazi, I don't like Nazis, please kill this Nazi. But yeah, I feel like they could have done a better job at sprinkling background information into the story with some flashbacks maybe or maybe even giving it like a prologue to the story. Another thing that I was kind of disappointed in was some of the fights in the end of the series. The fights like at the beginning and the middle are absolutely fantastic, but there are like two fights I can think of, huge fights that kind of seem anticlimactic. And I won't spoil anything obviously, because those are major fights, but you know, it just kind of seems like they fizzle out before anything really happens, or they could have been utilized to have a lot more action, violence, and become more memorable. And there's not really any character development in this story. The characters all start badass, and they end badass. Yes, they do get a lot more badass as the story goes on, but you know, as far as like their personalities go, there isn't really a whole lot. So if you're looking for a substantial character growth, an amazing driving story, you're not gonna find it in this manga. So all in all, what do I think of Helsing? Helsing is an absolutely amazing manga. If you're going in looking for incredible fights, you know, fast paced action, lots of over the top blood, gore, if that's the kind of manga you're looking for, I highly recommend Helsing. But if you're looking for a amazing story, you know, character development, if you're looking for philosophy, you know, deep thinking, critical thinking, you're not gonna find hardly any of that in this series. Helsing really excels in the visual aspects with the fights, the action, the gore, the overtop badass characters, but it really fails to pull through with the, you know, driving, engaging story and the character development. So with those things in mind, I'm feeling a strong six to a seven for the series. I'll probably keep the series for nostalgia's sake, just to read it and take myself on a trip down memory lane, back to the days in middle school where I was doing book reports on vampires killing Nazis. But anyways, guys, that's wrap up this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been The Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one.